Hello, in today's video we're going to be looking into crude oil and we'll also look into the steps by which a crude oil is formed. It's a very important topic if you're taking GCSC chemistry. Uh, you will be asked a lengthy question. It usually comes as a six marker whereby you'll have to give the steps explaining how crude oil is formed. So I'm going to go over some of the steps here. So the first thing that happens in that results in the formation of crude oil is that the plant and animals die and they sink to the bottom of the sea. And so we've got lots of plankton sea creatures that cannot swim against a current and this includes algae, bacteria and some other animals. So these are small animals, they die and they sink to the bottom of the sea. So that's the first step. And so crude oil is ultimately obtained from these microscopic plants and animals. So the first step is they have to die and they sink to the bottom of the sea. And what happens over time is that these plants and animals that are now dead, they get buried under layers of sediments. Now sediments could be mud. So literally mud particles deposit on top and it takes years and years for the layers to be formed. So you get layers of sediment and because the layers are building up, the layers will exert pressure. Now it's very important to note here that you've got a huge amount of pressure being built up but also heat. So there is that high temperature quite deep underneath the earth surface underneath the sea and then you've also got uh, absence of oxygen. So under these three conditions, so you've got high pressure, temperature and absence of oxygen. These are the three conditions that are needed and because of these three conditions that the dead plants and animals get converted into crude oil. Once the crude oil is formed, the oil will then rise up through the permeable rocks. Now permeable means porous, so where which will allow the liquid and gas to climb up. So the oil and gas will climb up till it gets trapped and it can't come up anymore. So if it's trapped by impermeable rocks, then that's the journey of the crude oil finished. So you will only get crude oil movement till there, then it can't go anywhere higher. So eventually the oil will move up. So that's the step four. So step one, we've looked into that the microscopic plants and animals die. They get buried under layers and layers of sediment. And the three factors, very important, is high pressure, temperature and absence of oxygen. Under these three conditions, the dead plants and animals get converted into crude oil. And over years, it takes billions of years before the crude oil is formed and it slowly rises up. So the question is, how do we know where this crude oil is located? Because it's happening, it's happened over billions of years. So there are a variety of methods by which if the presence of crude oil is detected. And this particular image gives you an idea of one of the techniques that's used. And once the crude oil location is detected, it's determined whether it's economical enough to go ahead and mine the oil from that location. And once it has all been assessed, then what it ultimately leads to is some kind of a rig being set up to extract the oil. So you've got to drill through the rock. Now remember the crude oil is underneath the impermeable rocks and therefore you have to drill through the rocks in order to get to the crude oil and then the oil has to be brought up to the surface. So overall in this video we're only going to study about how crude oil is formed and I've just given you some idea about how it's detected and how you can extract it. In the next video we will be looking into what happens next. So remember you've got crude oil but so what? What do we do next with it? So overall in this video, we've looked into that crude oil is a finite resource. Now this is another GCSE question that comes up. What is the meaning of finite resource? Finite means something that it will run out. So that's your finite resource and a very short definition or explanation of crude oil. 
Crude oil is formed from the remains of ancient biomass containing, consisting mainly of plankton that was buried in the mud. And remember, it takes billions of years. Three steps, three points to remember. High temperature, high pressure and absence of oxygen. Okay, So I'll see you at the next video where I'm going to explain about what happens next. So you've got crude oil. What do we do next with that? So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.